and welcome to our latest monthly update, this time covering figures for inbound tourism during the month of October. In October, we saw 2.7 million visits from overseas, that representing a 4% decline from what was in fact a very strong October back in 2011. Continuing its rather topsy-turvy trend from recent months, the value of visitor spending in fact fell 11% during October this year. Taking the first 10 months of this year together, we see that the overall volume of visits was 1% below the same period of last year, while visitor spending in nominal terms still remains 3% higher than last year. Let's look at a few of the facts in a little bit more detail. And what we find that is although the number of holiday visits from overseas was slightly lower this October than a year ago, more than 1 million overseas residents still chose Britain as a destination for their holiday during the course of that month. Now at the end of October, Hurricane Sandy severely impacted on travel outbound from the northeast of the United States. However, despite that, it was still the best October for visits from North America to Britain that we have seen since 2007. Rather closer to home, we saw a decline of about 7% in visits from the EU15 countries. Those are places such as Italy and Spain. And perhaps worthy of note is the fact that during October, Eurozone consumer confidence fell to its lowest level for more than three and a half years. Now, quite often we talk about the number of visits from different markets, and we're referring to where visitors actually live. But the International Passenger Survey also collects information on visitor nationalities. And we can see that in 2011, in fact, there were more visitors who were British nationals than there were from any other nationality, with around about 11% or 3.5 million visits being by those on a UK passport, followed by the French and then the Germans. So where do these 3.5 million UK passport holders actually travel from? We can answer that question in two different ways. Firstly, we can look at the absolute number of visits from different markets. And what we discovered there is that nearly 600,000 of these UK passport holders are in fact travelling to Britain from a home in France, with Spain and the Irish Republic making up the top three. We can also look at the figures based on the relative share of visits from each market that are by those on a UK passport. And here we find a chart with somewhat of a different complexion. In the top we find the United Arab Emirates, with 60% of all visits from the UAE in fact being by those on a British passport. Now in second place we find Hong Kong, and the story there is somewhat different. Yes, these visitors may be on a UK passport, but many of them will be Hong Kongers who were entitled to dual nationality ahead of handover back to China in the late 1990s. Next time around, we will have figures for the month of November, and we will also have detailed figures for quarter three. So until then, bye-bye.